Hey peeps, oh we're live, see? We're live! <laughs> you do me for it. Great. We're just not having, in it. We're just hey, pretending to be live. Yeah, we're just having the funnest of team. We're on there. Regan's live stream. Yeah, live Pa was, was yeah. trying to get it up. Our yes. Hi! Wait, hey. camera, camera hey. went. Hey. Oh, well, I want oh. to make sure <laughs> these are And now we're having a photo shoot. Yes, yeah. hang on, hey. hang on. That's camera so moment. That's beautiful. Are all of them? You want all three? Yes. Yes. It's so beautiful. weird to pose. Oh, you guys are so cute. Regan and I were, and I were saying this earlier, guys. Like, Regan and I were doing a picture, and, and we were both like this. We're like, oh, this is so weird. Oh, wait. Like, hey, sorry, guys. We didn't even know they were on. Oh, yeah, of right. course we did. And we're already getting hearts because you guys are oh, like, look at all the sexiness so and all the awesomeness, cute. right? So cute. Yes. So let's, let's frame this up. I actually, this morning, Greg and I, when we hit the gym, we were talking about a conversation about one of my events that's coming up, have a collaboration with someone who's more like the, the soft, sweet healer and how some of their people were like, I can't be around Marcy. She says fuck and she's too aggressive, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And and I, you know, we had this conversation about, of course, whatever I'm triggering in somebody else is maybe what they're rejecting in themselves, like right. they're, they're, they're badass masculine and taking action. And I've, I've had this experience for years of people being like, oh, you know, you might see me on stage. I'm sure mm -hmm. you have too, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to bring you in this conversation and see me being like super powerful, I'm a badass. And yet, then they have this idea of like, oh, you just must be super masculine. Right. I'm like, I'm you must beat people at home. <laughs> right. And it's funny because I, I, I know I've had the same conversation with Kat, who's one of your best friends and one of my clients, where she's like, yeah, and then people coach with me and they're like, oh, you're, you're so soft and right. you're so, you know, we're, we're so like soft and feminine and all this. And I know the guy that I'm dating mm -hmm. even says he gets guys all the time. They're like, isn't she like super masculine? He's like, no, she's actually super soft, yeah. super sensitive, super in her feminine. So I wanted to, I, I literally was like, I get to pull her in this conversation. <laughs> and I think these two beautiful men, you know, you added some great things to that today as we talked about the feminine masculine and your yeah. own journey in it and how sure. it has, actually is a journey for all of us. Mm -hmm. Wanted to bring up this conversation and dive into it. So the, the masses could actually really, I'm like the, all of our cameras. <laughs> the old the live streams. Yes. <laughs> yes. So first off, give us some love for right. like all the sexiness that we just brought together yes, here. Yes, look at this. <laughs> sexiness and the amazing beings here that are get to gather at the the magical manifestation mansion right so I'm super stoked to just kind of dive into what your experience has been you and I both said uh -huh. you're like yeah you five years ago was probably like way more masculine I was myself and again here as I'm teaching this comes out like right. this like power this right. intense thing which is the feminine fiercely feeling right check it all those oh, right. yeah right? amazing yeah <laughs> And we both have been through this journey we were talking about, and which I'd love to start the conversation with, mm -hmm. is you had said how us in that place, we were literally operating probably getting 10% of our, 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 you know, um, in the 10% receive, right? Divine in such a abundance. little place. Yeah. The tiny amount of abundance we're getting to the moment, and you see clients deal with this, right. where women have a hard time letting go of the masculine. Right. Because that's all they've ever known is like, I just do uh -huh. this, and I get results, and this is how I've got my results. Push, push, push. Yeah, yeah, and we're like, and the moment you actually surrender into your feminine, and you receive, and you, you allow that, that softness, you get 90% more upgrade in right. your... In, in the abundance factor, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. I actually went to an event in LA. Um, I'm not gonna say when, but because <laughs> I don't even want to figure out whose event it was. <laughs> but recently, and I sat in the room, it was an all women's event, yeah. like a women's empowerment event for a day. And yeah. I sat in the room and I was like, oh my God, it's like a room full of men. Yeah, It's crazy. But they all looked beautiful. Yeah, they all sure. looked feminine, right? They were all dressed up mm -hmm. and in heels and mm -hmm. da da da. And like, but the interactions and the energy, I yeah. remember I told you, I was like, oh my gosh. But then it's so interesting because I was like, wow, they're so in their masculine. I know, I'm like, I'm like, I just even his presence is so sweet, and like, I'm just like, <laughs> and it's crazy, because I looked at it, and I was like, that was me, like, five years ago, mm -hmm. but I was so stuck in it, and I couldn't mm -hmm. see it, because really tuning into my masculine, like, my creator, like, boom, kind of thing, like, yeah. that was the thing which had got me to where I was, yep. but I wasn't mm -hmm. seeing that, I thought that was, like, my highest level, yeah. of like, oh, look what I've achieved, and the success, and all that, but there was, like, 90% more, mm -hmm. which I wasn't tapping into, because I didn't understand how to surrender, I didn't understand yeah. the power of the feminine, like, this little stuff we can talk about, right, yeah. I didn't understand how to release, because it was freaking scary to mm -hmm. actually get in this place of choosing to let go, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You yeah. probably got stuck once in a while, but <laughs> letting go to the wrong people, the wrong place, right. that hurt, you had to learn a lesson, and so then you took over. Well, it's, it's, really, it's a part right. of how we guard ourselves, uh -huh. you know, it, and you know, um, just going through this phase, I know for you, as you express it, it it's men and women that get stuck totally. in this, in this yeah. idea of I have to, to do, and the force and the fight, which right. is just the energy of, that we're fighting instead of our actual ability to create in such a different way, right. and how much it shifted for you, 
in just going down to Columbia and opening up learning to actually sure. be. So maybe what's your experience with like on the men's side? Well, yeah, we were having that conversation this morning because I spent a long time, I was pretty lost for a while. I felt mask, my masculine power was mm. lost. Like I went through mm. a divorce. I didn't really have a, a divine purpose. And so I spent a long time developing that, right. that strength and those to do's and how to do that. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of that, I lost some of that softness. Mm -hmm. I lost some of that call it the cuddliness, right? Right. Um, and some of that was... You like the cuddliness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of power in having that that feminine, that sweetness, and right. there's also a lot of strength in the veracity and, and components. And so for me, it was it was a challenge of learning how to tune back in because my society and this as a person, as a man, I'm mm -hmm. the man, the creator, the always one pushing and doing. Mm -hmm. And what I found myself doing was conquering every mountain. Yeah. But every time there wasn't something to conquer, I would create something to conquer. Mm -hmm. Right. That means yes. I destroy everything around me uh -huh. so I could fix something new. Right. Mm -hmm. And I stopped being, I got really tired of fixing things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was in the feminine, the, the learning to let go, the learning to receive yeah. that there was like, oh, Maybe I don't have to fight all the time. Right, mm -hmm. and this shows up for women because they're doing that too, and it's exhausting. Yeah, like trust me, it's exhausting. Like this mm -hmm. is when you see, especially highly successful women that are, you know, doing well in the world and, and achieving and creating a lot, and they're like exhausted, like energetically. They're like, oh my god, and I have to push and do this again in order to create that because they're not in their natural state of mm -hmm. tapping into their feminine. They're they're like literally avoiding it at all yeah. costs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's clarify a little bit because like, so the masculine is the to-do energy. Like the masculine mm -hmm. energy is like, I want to achieve, I want to get to an end result. Mm. You know, so it's like single focus. I'm gonna like, I gotta get to the end, I gotta get to the end, I gotta get to the end. But the feminine is like the dance, the play. Right. I wanna be seen for my light. I just wanna play and flow. It's kind of like being water. Mm. So it's like you observe any resistance or obstacle and where the masculine be like, oh, I'm stuck, what do I do? Right. You right? The feminine goes, oh, let's flow around this flow rock and let's, 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 right? ooh, what else could this yeah. be? And what, it, and so it becomes this beautiful, effortless, I always say this, this resembles, you know, it's, it's like the symbol of life. It's the like figure eight. It's mm -hmm. the inhale and the exhale. We're in the give and the receive. Yeah. It's like the to do and inspiration is the masculine in alignment, yeah. not the force or the fight. It's like, oh, this feels so good. I'm inspired. What do I do to mm. serve? And then I receive from that service and the feedback and I, and I have it. And so most people are like in, in, in operating the masculine, they are actually what we started with getting a minimal of a return, right? Cause they aren't open to the receiving, which also comes from just aligning to your level of worth. Totally. I'd love to know from you two more being men in, you know, like obviously Greg, um, started as one of my clients came down to Columbia with me and has, is now a big, massive part of my team, mm. total family for me and brother mm. and Juan Pa, you being a beloved, I don't know how you guys classify each other, sexy ass <laughs> bitches of love <laughs> right, in each other's life. What would you guys say are, you know, where you see maybe people have seen her as masculine because they might observe her on stage or absolutely can you ask, can I say what you just got as your result this last month? Yes, you can. She fucking did a million this month, <laughs> right? Yes, amazing. Yes. <laughs> and and so, you know, us looking at this this badass producer and how mm. people might observe her as, as masculine, you know, a lot of people have observed me as masculine mm -hmm. and you've had interaction with me and know, You've seen the, the softness sure. space and all that and the coaching right. space, right? Well, you just said this, right? Like, because uh -huh. we just met in person. He's like, oh, I've seen you online. Like, you're really, like, soft and sweet. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you were not, punch like, me in not the crazy. Face the first that, <laughs> that was what started right? the conversation this morning. Is yeah. we, were, he, we brought up this thing about, you know, this event we're collaborating on. Or, you know, this, this person that was like, oh, you know, Marcy's so... I was like, my, if my client said that, I would call them on their bullshit. Right. And that's the difference of being in the masculine and the feminine is I'm like, I'm willing to stand and say... Let's look at this. Why would this trigger you? And right. obviously, if you're triggered by someone being in power and standing strong, and, you know, or if you're going to lose your shit over a word, are you really in mm -hmm. control? Or are you actually right. being, you know, out of control by letting circumstances outside you? Yeah. And instead, we get to look at why would that trigger you? And what is the gift of you actually leaning into that and observing that? Mm -hmm. So there's that. That's probably where the masculine stands up. It's like, yeah, we're, and then we fiercely feel the feminine. Mm. And there's the softness that's there. So it's like seeing all the gifts that are available when you actually look past what would have just stopped you. Right. So we started that conversation. And then he said, yeah, it's like Regan. He's like, you know, he's like, I totally would have thought she's like massive badass. <laughs> you know, she's got the shaved head. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> he's like, in which yesterday. by the way is masculine and fair. Yeah, for the regular it's my right? Jeep, it's the right? Same thought about. Did you notice that? With <laughs> yeah, my Jeep? yeah, yeah. My Jeep so cool. is like a badass motherfucker, <laughs> and I specifically was like, it gets to be the perfect example of the masculine film, which right. helped me design it. So, cool. so it's like the the, the big ass tires and the, the the you know what are they called? My pulley thing on the front and the ramps, <laughs> <which>? the thing, <laughs> the, the winch. Like, no like it's like a sixty thousand dollar ad, and then it's it's decorated in the galaxy and the stars right. and the it's feminine so cool. colors. So you yeah. look at it and people are like, that's really fucking badass. And right. the guy said it to me in there, he's like, mm -hmm. I saw your Jeep. You are a badass bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's like, and yet you know it's a girl's Jeep. Right. 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 You yeah. And yeah. so he, he he thought that about you. He's like, yeah. I just thought she was going to be so hardcore. <laughs> and then she's just so sweet. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, welcome to our world <laughs> where I get that all the time. People think, oh, she's yeah. just so do 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 when I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. So even in the masculine and the feminine, always one or the other is going to be coming out. Right. Because it, we, and the, the goal is to become balanced in both. Mm. And to receive both. Yet, if I'm on stage, I might be in it where it's like the fire's coming through me and the masculine is actually operating at a higher level. Right. And then when I'm coaching, I'm actually soft and I'm feeling and I'm allowing. So one or the other is always going to come up. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love from you guys seeing the difference of like where you're like, you see her softness. Mm. You know, I know, same thing in the relationship I'm in. He's like, guys always think that I'm super, or people think I'm masculine. He's mm. like, she is super soft and sensitive. And you, what would be your perception of that? No, I see that. That's it's an important um, alchemy to do for yourself because mm -hmm. you're so caught up, both men and women, um, into this role of, of rationalizing, of of being uh, guided by the structure of the mind of what we've learned, right? So um, um, it all comes from fear. I feel it's from fear ah, of really, really, really perception. opening yourself and surrendering to what is. It's fear yeah. to the to the magic, fear yeah, to what so we don't true. know, fear to. Wow. So we create all these like structures Look around at all the us. Hearts you're creating, you're getting love. And, <laughs> lots of hearts and love. <laughs> <laughs> and they're and, like, just keep talking. <laughs> right, mama. <laughs> yeah. and, and and that that's when, when the personality is created. Mm -hmm. So you create yeah. this way of just going around, kind of around the obstacles, and not not really seeing yourself, mm -hmm. not really going within to see. Oh my God, how vulnerable I feel when I am in my feminine. Yeah. yeah. How how I'm nothing. I'm really nothing. I'm just like like a, a feather being moved by the wind. Really, mm -hmm. you know. When you really mm -hmm. trust, mm -hmm. but it takes a lot of courage that's to do that. So the problem is like mm -hmm. some people have that courage and like take it the other way the masculine start doing 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 instead of right. softening and mm. surrendering and that's right. I feel that's part of the process because you come into that and then sooner or later you're gonna hit right a wall experiences mm. people relationships life just backs you up right and then you're like okay let me just calm down let me go inside and start opening mm. myself up if you have that mm -hmm. if you have if you do the choice if not mm -hmm. you keep bumping every time right mm -hmm. but right. for me it's super important to surrender yeah. that's the word into the feminine right. it's mm -hmm. really surrender stop fighting stop mm -hmm. sacrificing stop trying yeah. yeah surrender to what is well this is manifestation right mm -hmm. this is yeah. manifestation this is why you can manifest from a masculine place being a, being a female mm -hmm. and it'll get you somewhere like it's not mm -hmm. like you're not gonna so get it's results yeah, exactly. like you're gonna get somewhere but there's like this like push and you have to like be in your mind you have to you yeah. know Energy. Out. It's right. like it's draining. Yeah. It's exhausting. Yeah. But the magic around tapping into ease and flow and grace and like surrendering Bliss. and like having shit just synchronously like show up, which is what we do, right? This is we're we talking about. Like, oh like, my god, we live the same life, <laughs> right? Yes. Literally. Mm -hmm. But that only comes with women with being okay of, with stepping mm -hmm. into this feminine power, because that's yeah. that. Otherwise, you block manifestation, right? Yeah. yeah. And I love that you brought preference to it by saying. It is, it's almost like the, the, it is the braver, scarier thing to do is to allow the feminine. Yeah. Right. Because our, our whole totally. world and programming has been in the to do and let's think it through and let's yeah. figure it out and let's force this and let's, right. life is scarcity right. and survival. Right. All that Struggle, bullshit. Chaos. Yes. And that yeah. this message hasn't been heard enough, I believe, yeah. and that people go, oh, like literally when we allow, I'm worthy of balance and flow and ease and grace and selecting the people I want to work with and yeah. the schedule I want, there's no force or fight to anything. Right. We receive at such a massive degree and it just keeps getting easier and greater and that is actually mm -hmm. us tapped into our divine manifestation qualities yeah. right. yet it is almost a I think a lot of guys will see it as like um, you know this is what's uh, like this this is this is bravery vulnerability mm -hmm. is bravery yeah, the softness right. is bravery right. being fully seen and heard and even with yourself to sink yes. into your softness and be like oh sweet little boy sweet little girl right. Right. Oh, what are you feeling yeah. right. and share from that place totally. that is actually true bravery and right. that is that is the feminine yes. mm -hmm. that's really being empowered at the end 
and you mm, really let you. yourself go inside and feel and break with all the structures because mm. if you see what has masculine energy created in this earth a mess <laughs> you're so in your mind you're so disconnected <laughs> so that's what <laughs> women are ruling right now is the goddess right. rising in men yeah. and women yeah. that's what it is really we yeah. have to acknowledge and know that right. and this fucking like ego ma masculine ego is mm. is burning down right. there's no way other way right. look what right. we're doing like wars and cutting trees and everybody's like it's so crazy. close into themselves yeah. and that's what I tell my yeah. clients to like the first thing they do is like open your chest be vulnerable let yourself mm -hmm. be seen be open relax yeah. receive be in a receiving mode because if not you're always protecting and covering yourself and right. closing to the infinite right. possibilities of magic in life I would love yeah. to hear from you guys a little bit on your take on sacred masculine because I also yes. don't want people to think that masculine is bad or yeah. wrong oh, or that no. it's controlling yeah. or whatever but I think there's also especially sacred masculine in men there's this kind of identity image of what masculine is mm -hmm. which is maybe actually very different because speak speak yeah. on it <laughs> be this, right? speak on I it well <laughs> yeah there's for me in my life there's definitely a role that that masculinity creates and the mm -hmm. space that it holds for people around me right whether it's women or other people it holds yeah. a, a strong about, like, space thank you for being the magnifying masculine yeah. on our team and protecting mm. and providing and loving and supporting that sure yeah. Yeah. so there is a yeah. power of stepping into that masculinity where you're like okay now I know what it's for and now I know what how not to abuse it yeah. mm -hmm. as well because when the abuse comes in is is when you start to overpower and overshadow right. even the women in your relationships and your lives when you step in and say I will always protect you no matter what happens and you put them behind your shoulder you rid them of all those beautiful life lessons and right. letting them rise mm -hmm. so it's there as a help me it's I'm, I'm helping along with the rep and I know when to step in I want you to come and in a little more sooner yeah. in the other video I know when to step in and I know when to step out and I know how not to abuse it right and there's go ahead. I was just gonna say you're touching on it's the magnification of uh -huh. relationships. Like we were talking about AJ, right? And I was like, yeah, we call each other ele epic 11 besties, which yeah. is AJ's watching. Wah, 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 AJ, we love, love you. you. <laughs> uh, because we both understood that relationships are only meant to magnify. Right. That mm -hmm. it's not this place of like, oh, I need you to complete me and totally. this, da, 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 which is all, you know, the unconscious bullshit we've been taught of, yeah. you know, um, of it's just, it's too codependent. And instead sure. of standing in power, and you're standing in power, and you're both meant to rise in your discovery of the masculine and the feminine mm. you're doing and you're receiving your passion and your you know allowance the surrender and all of it to then magnify the space and experience of it yeah, yeah. and anything else thinks that the feminine is weak mm -hmm. and when you stand in oh, that and you try to do that you're like Emotions oh, are oh weak. you poor little weak <laughs> thing oh, let right. me control <laughs> and that's just a controlling yeah. Yeah. Component that right, has no totally. place. That's uh -huh. part of the bullshit, though, don't you think? It's that you get to overcome is thinking emotions, emotions are weak. I know I got to overcome that for myself, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Of course, well, emotions are weak and all that. The mm -hmm. same, we're scared of feeling that. So yeah. for yeah. men, it's easier to judge the woman and say, You're this, oh. you're that, you're that, yeah, yeah. and attack her because he doesn't want to feel himself. Mm -hmm. I did it for myself. I'm yeah. not like, I. there was a moment in my sure. life when don't even touch that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to touch those parts of mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. Right? So it's, I can't imagine. You're so soft and sweet. No, but I was I went through a lot. <laughs> yeah and now that now what I feel for me the sacred masculine really is holding that space yeah, for yeah. even women to bring out their emotions but yes, you're there holding you. them without playing the game of course of well. course but we're yeah. there like okay let's play the game a little bit right mm. because it's a whole cosmic joke like whatever yeah. emotion you feel it today <laughs> yes. and tomorrow you don't feel it's anything right. Right? right it's it's a whole illusion but let's play it don't right. get identified as a character in the story uh -huh. just watch it uh -huh. and be there that's the sacred yeah. masculine that exactly. we both play yeah. because you yeah. do the sacred masculine for mm -hmm. me all the time yeah. you hold me and I go into my crisis too like why <laughs> yeah. not and she's there observing mm -hmm. right. it's not met like men woman is it's not the body mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. we are both and we play both yeah. roles together mm -hmm. totally. mm -hmm. beautiful explanation yes. of that yes yes yeah, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. the world needs to hear this yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> dance. we had a dance party before <laughs> <laughs> we did we're really grooving now here yeah. by the pool we're like we like the pool stuff <laughs> Yeah, so I'd love to know, like, even if you guys have questions on this, yet what I felt was just really important Tell is, what's is, up? Uh, do we have a question there? Our bodies, yeah. men are physical, built to give encourage. I love the the explanations of it, because even in in the fact that through all of this, through our own discovery of utilizing our to do energy and our receive energy, is mm -hmm. how then it becomes just like we have more ease, we have more grace, we have more flow, we have more abundance, we have more love, and yet you actually produce more. 
Right. right. Sure. You know, it's right. so much more effective because you're so in tune totally. that we can just, you know, we were, we were laughing. I mean, we were supposed to do the live probably a while ago. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got <laughs> into just hour ago. <laughs> Pleasure and play. Like right. we went to lunch and we we're just laughing our right. asses off and talking about the synchronicities <laughs> of, you know, Greg's, Greg's laughing at how, you know, Mars really could get to the details. And I'm like, you don't get it. Like we create something, <laughs> we're just doing it. And she's like, yeah, that's how I operate. And I'm like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh -huh. <laughs> And we're just like, we just, we just are in flow and we go and how, you know, right. like we're talking about schedules and different things. And you know, you're traveling all over the world, mm -hmm. absolutely playing, you know, you just did a million, you're kicking ass, and how people, we were talking about how someone might message me and say, oh, I know you're so busy, and I'm like, not really, not really. I'm like, not actually, busy. I just have a level of, like, I'm balanced, and this is my plan, this is my business, right. you might think I'm busy because you can't get into my schedule, but that's right. because I'm fucking <laughs> balanced, and I have an amazing, awesome life. I'm busy with awesomeness. <laughs> yeah, and that's, a, and that's a level of your self-worth and respect that you right. say, I, you know, like, I only take on so many personal clients, it doesn't matter if you're going to pay me a million dollars, if right. I'm full, I'm full. You know, because that's what creates that balance and that alignment for mm -hmm. me, which then calls in the greater $5 million deal for something else because right. I'm actually holding that space and holding that container for myself. Mm. And I love the idea of you talking about holding the container, yeah. you know, because yeah. I believe that relationships are just holding a container of love, acceptance, and support. Yeah. That's all we are. So you're, when you're in your triggers and you go into your softness and your vulnerability, she holds that space. And then, and it's mm. vice versa, right? And right. that is also the masculine, feminine. So that even might ap apply here in the polarity. I, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're like, mm -hmm. I, was like I knew there was something <laughs> right. else that I wanted to bring up, and I just started to go, and it would come. <laughs> it was right? exactly that. Uh -huh, the polarity. Right. Yeah. And I was gonna say, like, especially for people that are looking to attract amazing relationships into mm -hmm. their life, like polarity is huge. And and I think so many people look externally, like, oh, he's like this, or she's like this. No, yeah. you need to look at you. Or I'm a right? girl. I have to act like this so that I can have a guy right. that acts like that. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm just gonna speak to the elephant a little bit. Like, how yeah. many successful women aren't in amazing relationships? Mm -hmm. at the same time mm -hmm. and, and they're not filled with love mm -hmm. and, and grace and all this beautiful stuff because they're centered in masculine right yeah. so opposites attract and then they have unhealthy feminine men show up as well yeah. that haven't done the work to ground into sacred masculine yeah. and it's like okay if you really want to be with someone who is grounded in their sacred masculine you need you to be grounded get to in your do sacred it too. feminine yes. <laughs> you know yeah. but people aren't really linking that up quite yeah. yet no. yeah. so interesting and, and I feel that like the imbalance is because we're not linking it in ourselves mm -hmm. like how I've seen yeah. it with all this well, with, everything with all that, this right, time, of course, it's a reflection. Yeah. But playing the masculine, feminine, just within within us, right? So the masculine, a quality of the masculine, I love that is not being acknowledged. It's presence. Mm. Yeah. Masculine, yes, you always think it's doing and going, and that, it, yeah, it's true. But just and guys, presence. Will make women just this melt. is <laughs> right. This hold is, the space. Yes, yeah, just hold me. space. Exactly. Just be present. And you I don't like, have oh, to do nothing. Right, right. And then <laughs> after that yeah. presence is when the shakti, what we call the shakti, the feminine, is comes to dance, come mm. to play inside of us. It's not even, yeah, I can do it for a woman, but I do yeah. it for myself. Yes. So for me to be in that place of creativity, of joy, of expression, yeah. I need to start with presence. I yeah. need to be available. I need yeah, to surrender right. to this energy. Yeah. Then the feminine comes in place. Yeah, and then I we play decision. around and then we have, and then we come back to presence and observe. Okay, am I, how is this? It feels good or was it right. too much? Right. But, you know, you're sure. always playing that masculine yeah. feminine. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful and I want to honor inside. you did that because we were all going to go to lunch and Regan's like, oh no, Juan Pao, he's going he's gonna to ground. And we yeah. came back here, you know, we ended up playing and not being like, oh, we have to jump on a life. We're like, fuck right. it, we're playing. We're having yeah. a good time. We'll, yeah. we'll get to it when we get to it. And we come back and you were over there in the grass doing your breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. You were bound, you were centering yourself and grounding yourself. Mm -hmm. And you said, that's what I get to do mm -hmm. to hold this center and this ground for myself where I am mm -hmm. operating at my highest, greatest, you know, magnitude. Right. Yeah. And then you come back really cool. Now come play. And it right. all worked out perfectly, <laughs> exactly. right? Yeah. Here, we <laughs> here we are. Here we are. Nope, it's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Yeah. Awesome. And Amazing. I actually think, uh, unless there's anything else you guys want to share, I think like we, our event's probably starting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're, they're they're so good. Not being good knows. students. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're like, we got to play. We get to play. Right. Yeah. Awesome. So, you know, we, we might jump on again. There might be something else that we want to share. Probably if you guys have be. questions for us, you know, uh, ask us more questions. Yeah. I feel like we got a really good, you know, understanding of the, the masculine and feminine good having panel. all of us. It was a good, a good panel. panel. Yeah. Really <laughs> good sexy. Panel. Right. Yes. Good so, looking panel. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just a reflection of ourselves and all the right. hearts. We love you guys. Yeah. My yeah. things are so good with hearts. I know. Yeah. They I'm like, did. How did you no, train no, no, your no, 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 no,
they just give lots and lots of hearts. And I feel I so good. It. You know, I don't even they're think people me. know that we're on two different <laughs> live streams they're, they're, at the same time. Hey, See, they're actually yes. training me because every time they give me so much love, I'm like, I want to jump on live. Right, right. Oh, so sure. you're telling me you're like the little puppy because every time they give you hearts, you're like, feed me, feed yeah, me, yeah, feed yeah, me, yeah. feed me. I just love to receive love because right. I love myself, so I'm worthy of all the love. Yeah. So you never know, guys. We might, well, we've got two more awesome days together right. plus the rest of today where we get to do some amazing stuff and we haven't even tapped into like all the stuff that we, you know, uh, right. whoa, what we're talking about. We're imprinting and we're, <laughs> exactly. Crazy. So there might be some more love and that we jump on this out. <laughs> I know. It's like right? amongst everything. I, know. I felt like at the end of the, before we went to lunch, I was like, my brain is doing this. Right. You from all of that, right? that I'm yeah. like, and then to, for us to just dive into something like this subject seems a little minuscule yeah. compared to what we're going into, <laughs> what we're diving into, which is why we're expanding mm. and growing and investing in ourselves like motherfucking exactly. badasses that exactly. love ourselves to be our highest, greatest good. So yep. yeah, we'll, we'll see if we jump on again and share more loving with you guys. I mean, I'm sure you loved all of this. Yes. All beautiful yes. awesome. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to go. We love you. Bye. 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 <laughs>